みなさん、こんにちは、ローズです。Welcome back.In this video, we will learn new Japanese grammar based from the Mina no Nihonga textbook, lesson 24.Here, we will learn how to express giving or receiving an action to or from someone. それでは、始めましょう。Here are the grammar points that we would learn in this lesson. First, let's review agemas and moraimas from lesson 7. Agemas means to give, and moraimas means to receive. For agemas, giver gives receiver an object, or giver gives object to receiver. The pattern is giver wa, receiver ni. So here, ni means To, followed by object o agemas. Giver wa receiver ni object o agemas. For example, John wa Maria ni hana o agemashita. Meaning, John gave Maria flowers or John gave flowers to Maria. For moraimas, receiver receives object from giver. The pattern is receiver wa giver ni or kara. So here, ni means from. Followed by object o moraimas. Again, receiver wa giver ni object o moraimas. For example, Maria wa John ni hanao moraimashita. Meaning, Maria received flowers from John. So remember, if the verb is agemas, the topic is the giver. If the verb is moraimas, the topic is the receiver. So, verb agemas, give, the giver is the topic. Verb is moraimas, to receive, the topic is the receiver. You may also change the order of the sentence. For example, John wa hanao Maria ni agemashita. Or, Maria wa hanao John ni moraimashita. Now, we will learn a new verb which is kuremas, meaning to give, but this is specific to give me or give the speaker. As you can see, it follows the same pattern as the verb agemas. Giver wa, receiver ni, object o, kuremas. But, the receiver must be the speaker, or me, or it should be the speaker's family, or my family, because in Japanese, the family is considered part of the speaker. For example, Miss Lama. Gave me this book. The giver is Miss Lama. The receiver is me, the speaker. So we follow the pattern starting with the giver. Rama san wa. Receiver is me. Watashi ni. Kono hon o. Kuremashita. Because it is in past form. Gave. Kuremashita. Another example. Samita gave my brother this book. Our giver is Samita and the receiver is my brother, which is my family. So again, we will use Kuremas. Let's follow the pattern. Samita san wa. 
音と,とにこの本をくれました。My grandmother gave me this book. おばあさんは私にこの本をくれました。あげます vs. くれます。Again, くれます is used when the receiver is the speaker or speaker's family. But if the receiver is anyone other than the speaker or the speaker's family, use あげます。For example, Miss Lama gave Samita this book. Our giver is Miss Lama and the receiver is Samita. Rama san wa Samita san ni kono hon o agemashita. I gave Miss Lama this book. Watashi wa Rama san ni kono hon o agemashita. I gave my brother this book. Watashi wa Ototo ni kono hon o agemashita. As for the third example, even though the receiver is my brother, which is my family, since the giver is me, I, I will use the verb agemas. Next is giving or receiving an action to or from someone. So we can combine a verb with agemas. Moraimas or kuremas. This means that doing a favor for someone or receiving a favor from someone. By adding agemas, moraimas, or kuremas after a verb, it expresses gratitude and sense of goodwill to the giver of the favor. For example, The teacher taught me a lesson. So let's use only the verb. If we say this in Japanese with just the verb, it will go like Sensei wa watashi ni lesson o. Our verb is to teach. So let's use the past form, which is Oshiemashita. So here we are just using the verb. Sensei wa watashi ni lesson no oshemashita. Now let's use this pattern. The teacher taught me a lesson. So it's the same sentence, but this time we want to convey the feeling that the teacher did me a favor and I'm grateful for that. So we will use the pattern verb. Kuremas. Sensei wa watashi ni lesson o. Followed by our verb in te form. So, oshemas becomes oshete. Followed by kuremas because the receiver is me. Kuremas. Or if you want to say it in plain form, you can say kureta. Now let's see some examples using the pattern verb te agemas. So the complete pattern is giver wa receiver ni verb te agemas. So, this means that the giver does something or a favor for someone. For example, Amir will lend his car to Mr. Yoshida. 
The giver is Amir. And the receiver is Mr. Yoshida. So let's say, Amiru wa Yoshida san ni kuruma o. Our verb is to lend, which is kashimas. In te form, it is kashte and then agemas. Amiru wa Yoshida san ni kuruma o kashte agemas. This means that Amir is so nice to lend Mr. Yoshida his car. I made grandpa coffee or I made coffee for grandpa. The giver is me and the receiver is grandpa. Watashi wa ojii chan or ojii san ni kohi o. Our verb is to make or made. Irete agemashita. Watashi wa ojii chan ni kohi o irete agemashita. It means I did something nice for my grandpa. I'll take Mr. Tanaka to the airport. Or I'll see Mr. Tanaka to the airport. Again, I am the giver and Mr. Tanaka is the receiver. Watashi wa Tanaka san o kukoe. Our verb is to see someone off or to send someone. Okutte from the verb okurimas. Okutte agemas. Watashi wa Tanaka san o kukoe okutte agemas. So we didn't have to put Mr. Tanaka as the receiver here because he is already the object of the verb okutte. So it will be redundant. So we just remove the receiver and just say, Watashi wa Tanaka san o kukoe okutte agemas. However, you cannot use verb te agemas directly to someone you are not close to or who is your senior or superior because this will give the impression of you are patronizing someone or you're treating them as inferior. For example, if Mr. Tanaka is your superior and you're not very close to him and you offer to give him a ride to the airport, you say, Mr. Tanaka, I'll take you to the airport. You cannot say, Tanaka-san, kukoe okutte agemasu yo because this will sound like you are patronizing him or you're treating him as someone lower than you. Instead, you can use the pattern we've learned from lesson 14, which is, Shall I or may I take you to the airport, Mr. Tanaka? When you offer to do something for someone, which is, Tanaka-san, kuko e okurimashou ka? Tanaka-san, kuko e okurimashou ka? However, you may use it directly to close friends or family. For example, you are talking to your grandma and you want to offer her some help. Grandma, I'll hold the bag for you. It's heavy. Oba-chan, kaban o motte ageru yo. Omoi kara. Oba-chan, kaban o motte ageru yo. Omoi kara. Next is using the pattern verb te moraimas. Here, the topic is the receiver. It means that the receiver receives something or a favor from someone. This shows the sense of gratitude of the receiver for the giver. For example, Samita showed me the way to the bus station. So using the verb moraimas, the receiver comes first. Watashi wa samita ni. So here, ni means from or by. Watashi wa samita ni basu noriba made. Our verb is show the way or to guide, which is annaishimasu. 
in te form, annaiste moraimashita. Watashi wa samita ni basu no riba made annaiste moraimashita. My brother brought me here. Watashi wa ani ni koko ni. Our verb is bring someone, which is tsurete kimasu. Tsurete kite moraimashita. Watashi wa ani ni koko ni tsurete kite moraimashita. My friend introduced me to anime. Watashi wa tomodachi ni. Our verb is introduce, which is shokai shimasu. Anime o shokai shite moraimashita. Watashi wa tomodachi ni anime o shokai shite moraimashita. Next is the pattern verb te kuremas. This means that the giver does something or a favor for the speaker, which is me. That's why we are going to use kuremas. The pattern is giver wa receiver ni verb te kuremas. This pattern implies that the giver does something voluntarily for the speaker or for me. And the receiver, which is most likely me, is often omitted. So you don't have to say, watashi ni. For example, the teacher explained to me the answer. So if the verb is koremas, the giver comes first. Sensei wa. Again, the receiver is most likely me, is omitted. So we don't have to mention it. Kotae o. Our verb is to explain, which is sesume shimasu. Sesume shite kuremashita. Sensei wa kotae o sesume shite kuremashita. My mother makes pack lunch for me every day. Ha ha wa mainichi. Obento. Our verb is to make, which is skurimas. Skute kuremas. Haha wa mainichi obento skute kuremas. My sister will help me with moving. Ane wa hikoshi o. Our verb is help, which is tetsudaimasu. Tetsudatte kuremasu. Ane wa hikkoshi o tetsudatte kuremasu. Okay, now let's compare two patterns using the same example side by side. So here we are going to use the example, my sister will help me with moving. Let's use the Receiver wa giver ni verb te moraimas pattern. Watashi wa ane ni hikoshi o tetsudatte moraimas. Watashi wa ane ni hikoshi o tetsudatte moraimas. This means that I will be helped by my sister to move. In this pattern, the receiver is the topic or the subject. And this may also imply that the receiver had the giver do him or her something or the favor. So it means that I will have my sister help me and I'm grateful. Or I will ask my sister to help me. On the other hand, using giver wa, receiver ni, verb Kuremas pattern. Anne wa watashi ni hikoshi o tetsudatte kuremas. Here, 
the giver is the topic or the subject. And this also implies that the giver does something voluntarily for the speaker. So this means that my sister volunteers and I'm grateful. Again, the main difference is that in the first one, you asked for help. On the second one, she volunteered. Particle ga can be used instead of wa to really give emphasis on the giver or receiver. For example, when someone opens up a topic like, What a nice dress! Sticky na one piece of ne? The other person might respond by giving information about the topic. Oh, this? My mom bought it for me. So B is giving information about the dress. A, kore desu ka? O ka san ga katte kore mashita. B is pointing out that it is her mother who bought the dress for her. So, okasan, which is the subject of this information, is marked by particle ga. Another example, if A says, Your Japanese is very good. Nihongo ga jōzu desu ne. B might reply, Thank you, Miss Tanaka taught me. Arigato, Tanaka sensei ga oshete kuremashita. The subject of the information, Tanaka sensei, is marked by particle ga. Like I said, the giver or the receiver can be marked by particle wa or ga. Now, if the giver or the receiver is unknown and we want to ask who is the doer of the action, we use the interrogative who or in Japanese dare. Dare ga verb. Who does or did the action? For example, who gave you this book or who gave this book? Dare ga anata ni kono hon wo kuremashita ka? Or dare ga anata ni kono hon wo agemashita ka? The answer might be Miss Lama did. She gave it to me. Lama-san ga kuremashita. Another example, who will prepare the materials? Dare ga shiryo junbi shimasu ka? Miss Harada will. Harada-san ga junbi shimasu. Who received Valentine chocolates? Dare ga Valentine choko wo moraimashita ka? Only John did. John dake ga moraimashita. Another way is with verb moraimashita. If we want to ask the giver or who did the action, we can say Dare ni or dare kara moraimashita ka? In the previous example, another way of asking who gave you this book is using this pattern, which is Dare ni kono hon wo moraimashita ka? So all these three questions are the same. Another example, who taught you English? Dare ni eigo wo oshete moraimashita ka? I had Miss Smith teach me. Smith sensei ni oshete moraimashita. Who did you receive Valentine chocolates from? Dare kara or dare ni Valentine choko wo moraimashita ka? I received them from Maria. Maria kara moraimashita.
we've learned the verb koremas. Giver wa receiver ni objeko koremas. Rama san wa watashi ni kono hon o koremashita. Samita san wa ototo ni kono hon o koremashita. Oba san wa watashi ni kono hon o koremashita. We've also learned to express giving or receiving actions to or from someone. Using verb te agemas, verb te moraimas, or verb te koremas. For example, Amiru wa Yoshida san ni kuruma o kashte agemas. Watashi wa Semita san ni basu no riba made anai shite moraimas. Haha wa obento o sukutte koremas. We've also learned that we use particle ga to mark the doer of the action. For example, Amiru san ga kashite agemas. Watashi ga moraimashita. Haha ga sukutte koremas. Again, we can also use particle ga after an interrogative. For example, dare ga kashite agemasu ka? Dare ga moraimashita ka? Dare ga sukutte koremasu ka? Mondai ga aru toki, dare ga tetsudatte koremasu ka? Dare ga o bento o sukutte koremasu ka? Dare ni valentine choko o moraimashita ka? Dare ni valentine choko o agemasu ka? Okay, so that's it for today's lesson. If you have any questions or clarifications, make sure to write them down in the comment section below. We are almost done with the first half of the Mina no Nihongo series. Only one more lesson to go and we'll be finished with the first book. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any of the future lessons. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!